Did anyone catch a glimpse of the Northern Lights this weekend? Uh, I admit I was sleeping, unfortunately, but it was a powerful solar storm and it gave an incredible light show to just about everyone. The Northern Lights even making their way down to Florida, only causing the minor disruptions to our electrical grids and satellites. There was some concern about that, according to NOAA. Another weaker solar storm is expected to hit this weekend as well. So could we see more of these crazy lights? Let's check in now with meteorologist Amy Metz, who has more from Atlanta. So Amy, quite a show. I, I'm sad to say I missed it. Will I have another chance this weekend? You know, there are more chances coming up. It's looking a little lower right now for the next couple of days, but I would say Wednesday into Thursday, we've just had another coronal mass ejection. And so it's it's unfortunate we don't have a good lead time as space weather scientists as to whether or not we're going to get aurora from our coronal mass ejections. It's when they reach our satellite that we also use for weather that we know if they have the proper magnetic orientation to give us those streaming lights in the sky that, you know, I've even had reports now from Mexico and Puerto Rico coming in that these were visible. We had Steve's in the sky. So there's a lot of intricacies with these. We have more protons on the rise, meaning that some of our astronauts and even on the ISS may be using some of their space weather storm shelters right now. So in the coming days and the coming weeks, we still have a lot of active sunspots like we see right now. Those bright regions, sometimes they glow very rapidly. Those are the electromagnetic energies coming toward us with solar flares, which we've had plenty of and more today. And oftentimes with that, they also release magnetic plasma from the coronal mass ejection. So if they're facing us, you can even see that satellite rocking around there because it got impacted by that stream of the solar wind shock wave. All of these different kinds of space weather events give us these beautiful bright lights. Uh, not every kind will spark aurora, but they do impact us in different ways that scientists are still discovering. And luckily, next month, I'm hoping to share more with you about a new satellite satellite that we're going to be launching called goes U from the United States. And with that, we'll get more space weather details. I'm hoping a better lead time on whether or not Aurora is really forecast. Back to you, John. All right, Amy. S space weather, as if weather wasn't fascinating enough. Now we can talk about space weather, too. I love it. We'll check in with you. And can't wait to learn more about that satellite, too, Amy. Thanks.